Hello everyone, you are once more welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we are going to prove that if a, b and c are three integers such that a divides b and a also divides c, then a divides any linear combination of b and c. That is, a divides any expression of the form bx plus cy where x and y are integers. As a motivation to this proof, let's consider this example. If we consider a to be 2, b to be 6, and c to be 8, then we can observe that 2 divides 6, since 6 can be written as 2 times 3, and that 2 divides 8, since 8 can be written as 2 times 4. Now let's verify that 2 can divide any possible combination of 6 and 8. If x is 0 and y is also 0, then 6x plus 8y will also be 0. And we know that 2 divides 0, since 0 can be expressed as 2 times 0, where this 0 is an integer. If x is 2 and y is 1, then 6x plus 8y will be 12 plus 8, which is equal to 20. And we also know that 2 divides 20, since 20 can be written as 2 times 10, where 10 is an integer. If you take x to be negative 1 and y to be negative 2, then 6x plus 8y will be equal to negative 22. And again, 2 divides negative 22, since negative 22 can be expressed as 2 times negative 11, where negative 11 is also an integer. So we can see that for each values of x and y that we choose, 2 will always divide 6x plus 8y. Now let's prove that this statement is actually true for all integral values of x and y. We are told that a, b, and c are three integers such that a divides b and a also divides c. And from the definition of divisibility, we know that if a divides b, then b should be equal to a times m where m is an integer. And if a divides c, then c should be expressed as a times n, where this n is also an integer. And to prove that a divides any linear combination of b and c, we have to use these two hypotheses. Now, if x and y are two integers, then bx plus cy will be equal to am multiplied by x plus a n multiplied by y since b is equal to a n and c is equal to a n and since multiplication is associative in the set of integers we can write this as a multiplied by m x plus a multiplied by n y and if we factor out a we are going to obtain a into m x plus n y and this can also be written in the form a times p, where p is equal to mx plus ny, and this is also an integer. Since the set of integers is closed under multiplication and under addition, and from the definition of divisibility, we can conclude that a divides bx plus cy, since bx plus cy is equal to ap where p is an integer. Therefore, we are saying that if a, b, and c are three integers, such that a divides b, and a also divides c, then a divides any linear combination of b and c. Thanks for watching. Please do remember to subscribe to this channel in order not to miss any of our videos on number theory.